In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the terms associativity and commutativity. Now, what you'll find as you work your way through this video is that I expect you'll uh, be looking at this going, well, these are things that generally I take for granted to be true. Okay? Um, but in certain circumstances, these things aren't obvious and they need to be checked. And this is kind of like one of the underlying, um, underlying concepts that would permeate through from A-level maths and A-level further maths to degree level. Okay, so what does associativity mean? So if we're just talking about addition, okay, if we were looking at associativity for addition, then the idea would be that you would be able to do x plus y. So if you did the x plus y first, and then you added on z, is that the same as doing y plus z first and adding on x? Okay, in that order. Right, now, um, if we were just looking at bog standard uh, like real numbers, okay, um, then this is something that you would take to be true, right? Just adding numbers together. So if you had like 1, 2, and 3, if you do the 1 plus 2 first and add on the 3, then that's going to be the same as if you do 1 plus 2 plus 3, doing the 2 plus 3 first, okay? So that seems uh, appropriate. Now, that's just associativity for addition. So that is what that means. Whereas commutativity would say um, that addition is commutative if x plus y is the same as y plus x. And as well, you know, for bog standard real numbers, 1 plus 2 is going to be the same as 2 plus 1. Okay? So we're used to these um, facts being the case uh, when we're just talking about numbers. Now, is it true for matrices? Okay, that's something that we need to investigate because we're looking at using something new here. So we need to check that these rules still work uh, for uh, matrices as they would for numbers. Now, what I want to be clear on is that associativity, commutativity, they're not just about addition. We could be looking at subtraction as well, and we will do for matrices. So I could replace each of these plus signs with a minus. But we could also do associativity and commutativity with multiplication. So this symbol that I have here could be a plus, could be a minus, could be a times sign. Um, it could be something completely different. It could be an operation that you're just not used to doing, okay? Which is something that, as I said, at degree level, you might be introduced, oh, here is a, a symbol that does this. Is it associative? Okay, is it commutative? So to generalize this, we're going to replace each of these symbols with something that could mean anything. And so we use a star. Okay, so that's what associativity and commutativity are all about. Okay, these rules. Are these rules the case? So we're going to look at it from the point of view of matrices. So let's first of all look at addition um, and to determine whether addition is associative, okay, for matrices. So our left hand side. Okay, and we're going to have to come up with three matrices, one for x, y, and z here. So we're going to stick with a 2 by 2 matrix. And we could have A, B, C, D. And then add on E, F, G, H. Okay, so we're going to add those together first. And then add on uh, the next matrix, which will be I, J, K, and L. Okay. So the left-hand side would say that. So if I add these two matrices together, we would have A plus E, B plus F, 
C plus G, D plus H. And then I'm going to add on the final matrix. And we would have A plus E plus I, C plus G plus K, B plus F plus J, and D plus H plus L. So that is the result for my left-hand side. Now, if I check the right-hand side, then what I need is A, B, C, D to be left alone for the moment. And I'm going to add together E, F, G, H, and I, J, K, L. So we've got the A, B, C, D, plus E plus I, F plus J, G plus K, H plus L. So we get A plus E plus I. Oh, A <laughs> plus E plus I. Uh, B plus F plus J. C plus G plus K. And D plus H plus L. OK. And so you can see that these two matrices are the same. So as, let's just move that for the moment. So as uh, A, B, C, D uh, plus E, F, G, H plus I, J, K, L is equal to A, B, C, D plus uh, E, F, G, H, plus I, J, K, L. OK, so as the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, therefore, um, matrix addition is associative. Associative. <laughs> Associative, there we are. Get the spelling right. Okay, so that shows the matrix addition works um, and is associative under addition. Okay, now if we had subtraction, okay, so if we looked at subtraction now then we would need to replace each of these with a takeaway. I'm not going to write all this out from scratch. And we would get A, takeaway E, takeaway I. So all of these would become negative. OK? Now, as for the right-hand side, that would be minus, that would be minus. OK, so that would be minus, that would be negative, that would be negative. OK. But then, because you're doing A take away, E take away I, right, that would be A take away E plus I and C take away G plus K, and B take away F plus J, and D take away H plus L. So these two things are not the same. Okay, so matrix subtraction is not associative. OK, so that is what we can see from associativity. And that would show uh, what we need to uh, in order to prove that. OK, right, so let's take a look at commutativity now. Um, so let's get rid of that. Carefully get rid of the working. 
leaving the title. There we are. Right. OK, so commutativity. So let's look at addition first. So for addition, um, we would have A, B, C, D plus E, F, G, H. And so our matrix would be A plus E, B plus F, C plus G, D plus H. OK? Right, now the right-hand side would be E, F, G, H plus A, B, C, D, which is E plus A, F plus B, uh, G plus C, and H plus D which, of course, is the same as A plus E, uh, C plus G, B plus F, and D plus H. Now, the reason why I can go from there to there is because we know that real numbers, uh, assuming that uh, A, uh, A H here are real numbers, OK? Assuming that they're real numbers, we know that real numbers are associative under addition, which means that is the same as that. Uh, sorry, a commutative under addition. So I know that E plus A is equal to A plus E because this rule works for real numbers. So that would be a separate thing, a separate proof um, that is working behind the scenes that allows me to make that change. So... Um, a, B, C, D plus E, F, G, H is equal to E, F, G, H plus A, B, C, D. Therefore, um, matrix addition is commutative. OK, and that is the proof to show that. If we were to change this to subtraction, then we would have this. And this. OK. Now. If I did want to rewrite it, I guess I could write that as minus A plus E minus B plus F minus C plus G minus D plus H. And so we know that that is not the same as that. OK? Um, so that is not the same as that. So matrix subtraction is not commutative. OK, and so we can show that generally uh, using this process. So hopefully it makes sense now as to what associativity and commutativity are. They are things that, um, as I said before, uh, that you would take for granted. OK, um, but we may well be asked to show that uh, a set of matrices are commutative or associative. And it, as I said, it's not limited to just addition subtraction. It could be multiplication. It could be um, some other operation that we're not aware of yet. Okay, So this extends beyond further maths as well.